we will discuss about the test for our nana. So first we will discuss about the test for the muscle which is supplied by the ulna nerve which is the flexor carpi ulnaris. So this is a muscle which is supplied by the ulna nerve. So how do you test the flexor carpi ulnaris? For this this is a chief flexor of the wrist. Flexor of wrist. So, to test this muscle, we have to flex the wrist against gravity. So, in this we are trying to flex the wrist against gravity. So, this is a normal phenomenon. Just see. In case of ulnar nerve palsy, the flexor carpi ulnaris, uh, the innovation to the flexor carpi ulnaris is gone. So, when you are trying to flex the wrist against gravity, there will be ulnar deviation of the wrist. And the tendon will not stand prominent. So, if there is ulnar nerve palsy, when you are trying to flex the wrist against gravity, there is radial deviation of wrist and tendon of flexor carpi ulnaris does not stands out next the other muscle which we are testing is the adductor digiti minimum so this is a hypothena muscle which is supplied by the ulnar nerve. So if you want to test this muscle, you try to abduct, you try to abduct the little finger against resistance. So try to abduct little finger against resistance in alano palsy this is not possible And the important muscles which are supplied by the ulnar nerve are in row shape. All the in are supplied by the ulnar nerve. So we know that there are chiefly two in that is palmar in shape. and dorsal introsia. Know that the Palmer introsia this causes adduction of fingers 
at metacarpophalangeal joint. Dorsal indroche causes abduction of fingers at MP joint. So first we will test the palmar indroche. As the palmar indroche carries out the adduction of fingers at the MP joint, we will test the palmar indroche through a test known as Card test. In this test, the examiner inserts a card between the fingers of the patient, and the patient is asked to hold the card tightly, and the examiner tries to withdraw the card. Examiner forcefully tries to withdraw the card. In normal persons, where there is normal ulnar supply to the introche, it is not possible to withdraw the card easily. In cases where there are ulnar nerve palsy, the palmar introche innervation is gone and when you are trying to withdraw the card, it, it, it will easily get removed. That is the card test. In this test, we insert a card in between the finger of the patient and the patient is asked to hold the card tightly while the examiner forcefully with, tries to withdraw the card. So that's the card test. And the test for the dorsal indroche is Igawa test. In Igawa test, we put the palm in such a way that the palmar surface face down and the middle finger is moved sideways. Through this, we are testing the abduction of the fingers which is carried out by the dorsal indroche. So this is the Igawa test in which we move the middle finger sideways to test the abduction of fingers. So these two tests are very important, car test and Igawa test. And there is another test to detect ulnar palsy that is known as that sign is known as Wartenberg sign in this we are trying to add the little finger to the ring finger so in case of ulnar palsy the innovation to the palmar indroshi is gone so it is not possible to Added the little finger to the ring finger. So the little finger stands away from the ring finger. So this sign is known as Wartenberg sign. Next we will be testing another muscle which is supplied by the Alnano. Adductor pollicis. We know that adductor pollicis. This muscle causes adduction of thumb. So we are going to test the adduction of thumb. For this, the patient is asked to hold a book between the thumb and the index finger. Norm in normal persons, we can see that the book is held between the thumb and index finger in such a way that the thumb is extended. So this is a normal position. 
in case of alnano palsy the innervation to the adductor pollicis is gone so because of the paralysis of this muscle the adduction is not possible like this so in alnano palsy instead of holding like this instead of holding the thumb extended the person will use the flexor pollicis longus and hold the book like this so instead of holding like this the person holds the thumb like this this sign is known as froman sign seen in ulnar nerve palsy froman sign seen in ulnar nerve palsy sign is very important yes froman sign this test is known as book test that's all about the test for alna now for more videos subscribe our channel